Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're doing a stripe job on Fred's truck. So uh, I'm back and forth from this shop and our other shop uh, quite a lot. So I'm not gonna, uh, like currently, I just don't have time to be here the entire process of painting the truck, but I'm gonna set up a time lapse. We're gonna flip the camera around, talk about kind of the process and, and how Mark and Eli are gonna go about doing the stripe job on Fred's truck. And then I'll be able to kind of pop in and out of here and show you guys the progression as we're doing it. Uh, as soon as I get some more time, I'd like to come down here and do like a full, like three days on start to finish on a paint job. And I promise one of these days, we're gonna get a video and we're gonna do that. Just currently, there's so much going on. I, I can't really afford to just be out of the other shop and over here for three days straight. So uh, anyway, this video is gonna show you, you know, pretty good in detail, I, I think uh, kind of how this happens. And uh, when everything's said and done, this thing's gonna have one super cool paint job on it at the end of the video, so I'm pretty excited about it. So Fred's truck is in the middle of uh, getting sanded down for the stripe job. I'll kind of show you a little bit what's going on here. And kind of explain how Mark is, uh, how he kind of works this whole deal. This stripe actually worked out really good because uh, it had a little ding right there, as you can see where Mark already fixed that. Um, this is like a rock ding or something. So the stripe goes right through it, so we're able to fix that, which was nice. Um, but right now he's got the main, he's got the main outline taped up um, where it goes on both sides. And I'm gonna show you his other side real quick. So there's your other side. And then what they're gonna be doing from here is like basically just sanding that whole area down, because then you've gotta run your tape in all the other places for the other stripes inside that area. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool setup so far. So what do you, Mark, what are you gonna do here? So like, I know, or just kind of explain to everybody watching the video. I mean, this is the area that all the colors are going in, right? Yes, yeah, three colors. And then from there, once the three colors are in place, it seems like um, now you got your markers here so then your other stripe's gonna kinda come up and then it's gonna turn and I'm guessing you're picking up your other color marker from there. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a little cheat sheet that we're leaving so we'll know right off the bat where to run the lines. Yep, and that'll keep them uniform on both sides. I'm, you know, you'll measure, you'll measure this side and put everything where it goes, do the same on the other side and that way it's uniform uh, on the yep. driver passenger side of the truck. Exactly. So you'll tape all of this You'll sand all this down, get it where it needs to go, then uh, start putting all your tapes. So when you do this, you're gonna go, are you gonna do one solid color and then tape over the first color? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Everything will go one solid color and then we'll lay out the stripe on top of and it. And then start putting the next color down and yep. then the next color down. Yeah. Then clear everything after that. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. How long? Start to finish on this stripe job. Do you think you guys are gonna, you and Eli, have in this? Start to finish the painting process. Yeah, I'm not holding you to it. Just guessing. Just guessing. How many hours does it take to do one like, like this setup? I'm gonna guess the actual painting part. Maybe about, hopefully, no more than ten hours. Yep. Because you got to do, you got to shoot a color, wait on it, and then. Uh, yeah, shoot a color, wait on it, let that color like Correct. do its deal, then put tape on it, yep. then shoot that color, wait on it, yep. tape it, shoot that color, wait on it, untape, pull, untape, and then clear. Yeah. Yep. And then just in this side of things here, you're gonna have how long you think in this? Just on the taping and the prepping. Yeah. Uh, there, I'd say probably about. Eh, it's a probably two to three days. It's probably three days. Yeah between all the disassembly and getting everything 100% ready yeah. to go. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sweet. This truck's gonna look, I'm pretty excited about this. This truck's gonna look so cool when it's done. I think Fred, I, I, like me and Bill were talking about this the other day, but like Fred may have picked out uh, possibly like our favorite color stripe combo of a truck for, I think when it's done, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty awesome. But you can see we already got the tanks painted and everything there in place. We still got to paint the uh, the breathers and we got to paint the shock box cover for it. Um, 
and the back of the visor, but this thing's coming along. The frame looks awesome. I mean, it is just, this thing's nice enough. We could just, it's kind of a shame just being where we're at on dates wise, like not, maybe not, maybe we should take this to Louisville. <laughs> I'm sure if Bill's watching this, he's going to be, he's going to be cussing me. He's already got one to take to Louisville. I don't think he needs three, but this thing's going to look super sharp. Okay, so they got the first color down on Fred's truck, which is the red. And now they're gonna start taping up the lines for the next color. So you guys have like tore holes in the plastic over here to kind of see where your marks were. Yeah, just to see where our guidelines were at. Yeah. Nice. And then they'll be able to start seeing where they're going with it. So they've got, you'll see here, they've made guidelines for where the stripes are going through here. And so after they painted the red, they tore the holes there just so they can see where their guidelines were and start running the tape lines for the next color. What's the next color you're putting on here? Orange. Orange. Yes. Nice. I was just looking at this, trying to figure out why the holes were in the plastic. And then I realized it was so you guys can see your marks. To where you're gonna put your other stuff pretty smart yeah. <laughs> yeah so before y'all you know you got all this prepped up and they went ahead they made all their all their all their marks where the lines need to go down the truck and then at every color i guess you guys will just tear the plastic when you do your next set of uh of lines on it pretty neat Very tedious. So the colors we're doing here is going to be, the orange is going to be inside here on the back? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it goes yellow, well wait, it goes yellow, orange, then red? So the so this is saying red right here. This is protecting, yeah. We're yep. going to protect, protect this. Yep. And then paint above it. Then paint everything orange. 
Uh huh. And then protect the orange the same way we're protecting this red on the next step. Okay. And then spray the yellow as a, the top color. And yellow is the last color you'll paint? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Two years ago doing a stripe job versus today, stress levels are much smoother than oh, they yeah. used to be? Yeah. Yeah, nothing like the first. The first year was... I remember we were all doing this and trying to, everybody's sitting around trying to figure out what to do next and how is it going to work out. And we were all stressed out about it. Now we're kind of like, cool, we're just going to put some stripes on the truck. Yeah, it's it's a lot more routine. I mean, it's I'm still learning, but it's a lot more routine. Yeah, <laughs> I just was just sitting here watching y'all do it. I was like, I remember back when we started doing some of the first ones that just like, I hope we're doing this right, and you kind of kind of don't know till you get done, and so you're stressed out going, I hope I didn't waste an entire day. Yeah, and they always turned out great. Yeah, but they, they turned out. We we went we went around to about the the long and hard way of it. Now we're. <laughs> We're learning now. We now know we got what, a little more figured do. out. Yeah, we know what to do, what not to do now. A little yep. bit more. I know one thing's for sure, I couldn't do this. I can't put a sticker on straight, mm. let alone like try to do straight lines. Like it is, I can do a lot of things. This, I definitely could not do. It'd take me all day to get one set of lines around a truck if I was trying to make them straight for sure. It's very nice. You're kind of new with all this anyway, you like it? Do you like it? Yeah. Like the, I've been enjoying it. Do you have a stress level? Does this stress you out at all? Not really. See, this is like, this dude's such a poker player over here. He doesn't, he's like, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, so what you guys are seeing right here, this bottom line is gonna be the red. And then the next one, they'll, uh, once they get this tape up, They'll do another set of tape that'll go up for where they're going to spray the orange. So they'll cover all of this up that they're taping up right now. And this is essentially the back line or the bottom line for the orange. And then after they do that, then they'll tape it up again and then it'll be the yellow. And this right here will be your top line of the yellow and they'll make their bottom line for the yellow after they do their orange. And this will pretty well take the guys all of the day to do so this is like a full day both of them taping all this stuff up and prepping the next piece and doing the next color um so they'll have a full 10 hours or so just in this part probably 12.
second coat is on. We got our orange in there, and now they're taping off all the orange area and getting ready to spray the yellow. Pretty close. This is an all day event. It looks awesome. So now they got that done. You can kind of see where the yellow tape is going through here. So they're masking off all the orange and protecting that. And then the next piece is gonna be the yellow going down. And uh, they'll throw the yellow paint on here, pull everything off, and then we'll do clear. So uh, getting closer. Pretty neat. truck is out of the paint booth and over on the other side here freaking cool looking all right so mark eli the paint job's awesome thank you thanks uh i got a question what was the in terms of like painting this truck the stripe part, the stripe portion of it, not like the frame or anything of the tanks, but what's the, what's the most challenging piece of the puzzle there? I'd say definitely keeping everything straight yeah. and lined up, uh, making sure both, both sides are uh, same. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, keeping, keeping things symmetrical. I'd say that's kind of what I've figured would be there. Yeah. And if you, I mean, we walked around, I'm like walking around and it is, uh, it's pretty spot on every way around the truck i mean it's uh the lines are nice and straight i mean it's awesome like y'all done so good so what's left after this we just just the buffing part of it now yeah yeah uh, just get a little bit of trash out here yep. and there yeah just kind of clean it up and yeah. then uh we're painting the rest of the black stuff today yeah so then probably tomorrow we can start hanging those parts on the truck i would say yeah. first thing in the morning if we yeah that's to. gonna be 
that's gonna be awesome. I can't like this truck's gonna have like it looks really awesome now, but like as we start throwing parts on this truck, it will transform even further. Uh, really, like kind of complete the entire look of it. But I mean, you know, for Fred being ten years old and like this whole thing's his vision, we probably hire him full time over here. He can just replace <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> he's pretty good at it. I like this a lot. The camera does not do this justice in terms of the color separations. It's, it's kind of making these look more similar than they really are, like with your naked eye looking at it. But man, this thing is sharp. Pretty mean looking. This is definitely a cool old school look to it for sure. I'm really glad we decided to do the stripes around this thing. I think uh, having Fred and Bill down here when we were discussing all this was a good, a good move because uh, I think the way these lined up going out of the back with the lights dead center, that yellow is like pretty cool. And the orange frame with this is like, I'm digging it. What do you think? I love it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Very old school. Dude, they always like, Mark and Eli are freaking, it's awesome because they get better every time they do stuff. Oh, for sure. They, <sighs> uh, it amazes me on how to tape it up and everything. Uh, I couldn't do it. This is freaking, thing looks really good. I'll walk around here to the other side and show you this side. It's awesome. And they're, I mean, they're, their lines going up into everything is pretty freaking nice. They got all the way in, all the way to the very edge of the sleeper on the boot and everything. I like it. Once again, these guys have done a killer job on paint here. It looks really good from the back. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We were able to show you kind of a little bit of the process behind doing some paint jobs. This thing behind me turned out super awesome. And we've got a lot more to still do this truck, getting stacks on it and cabin sleeper panels and a bumper and a visor and whatnot. But Fred's truck is turning out to be super cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just say it. Fred's 10 years old. He's got really good taste in trucks. I think his his vision uh, coming to life here is uh, it's pretty spectacular. I'm I'm like I'm really digging the truck, and it's it's different. It's uh, I don't know. I'm just I'm kind of stoked to be that all of us were able to be a kind of a part of this and build a truck that Fred is like dreamed up in his head what he wants it to look like. The kid's got good taste, I'm gonna say it. So uh, anyway, more videos coming up on this truck as we start to put it back together. But what did you guys think about the video? Did you like the, did you like seeing the processes of the paint? And a lot of time lapse in it, but um, pretty neat, I think, to see all the stages of how that, how that came to life. Um, let us know in the comments. And tell us, you know, do you think, should, uh, should Fred put the emblems on the hood or leave the emblems off? What do you, what do you guys think should happen there? Uh, and then do the other stuff, the like, subscribe, the bell button. We're trying to get to 100,000 on the subscriber deal there, so any help would be much appreciated. And uh, go to semicasualshow.com. You can get hoodies and hats, and we got truck parts and stuff on there now and all kinds of stuff. And then we've got our truck show coming up in August, so uh, be sure to look into that. It's on Facebook. we got an event page on Facebook, and you can go to semicasualtruckshow.com and see the information for the truck show there. And then semicasualshow.com is where you get all the hats and hoodies and truck parts and stuff. But uh, otherwise, hope you guys enjoy the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Later. <laughs>